All right, Pisces, what's up? I'm going to do another reading for you guys. We're totally lagging on you guys all weekend. Thank you guys for being patient with me. Had to take some uh, little time off to, uh, you know, do my thing. <laughs> Went to the hot springs. Um, what were they called? Solduck Hot Springs. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. It was nice. It's like a hot spring out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> So this is for you guys, Pisces, another reading. This is going to be for the 25th through 25th through the end of the month. All right, let's do one card. I will read this one from the book, from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck uh, by Denise Lynn. All right. What message do you want to give Pisces today for this week? April 25th through the end of the week, 2022, through the end of the month, I should say. One card, please. Or Pisces, what overall message do you want to give to the collective? Energy, fire, spirit. Exactly. Okay. Never read this one before, so it'll be our first time together. All right. So we get the fire, spirit, energy. Uh, one jagged shard of lightning after another strikes the earth. Loud rumbling, crashing thunder reverberates throughout the forest. The trees seem to vibrate together. As one being in response to the lightning, as the fire spirit activates the core of existence, extraordinary life force energy surges through your body and through the land. You can feel the vigor of the forest expanding majestically. Beautiful. I think I have read this before, actually. All right. Take action. This is not the time to hold back in life. Do not repress what you feel. Allow yourself to be drained or allow yourself to be drained by others. If you strive to meet everyone's expectations and fulfill the needs of others, but don't forget to honor your own needs, your energy field becomes depleted and dull. Break free of your constraints, whether self-inflicted or imposed on you by others. Activate your verve and your passion. Give your emotions free reign. Uh, waves of energy will surge through you as you spontaneously express yourself, running on your own resources. However, However, can be depleting. Allow the creator to flow through you. Be open to receive, knowing that you don't have to do it all by yourself. This replenishes your soul and supports you in accessing enormous amounts of energy. The power of the fire spirit is re-owned. One of the four prime elements, it traditionally represents transformation, passion, zeal, enthusiasm, creativity, and activation. In many traditions, fire is sim. I cannot say this word, synonymous, <laughs> okay, synonymous, whatever, all right, with creation itself, let the energy of the fire inspire action and movement for you now. The fire of the spirit says incredible vitality, life force energy, and passion are expanding in your life. If you start to feel drained by the expectations of others, don't hold back, ignite your inner fire, speak your truth, and let the light of the creator surge through you. Bam. All right. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Um, that was me like last week. I was like, I got to fucking go. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> I got to go MIA. All right. So it felt good, though. All right. So Pisces, don't allow yourself to be drained by others. Okay. Now is the time to take action of your life. Do, do what you need to do to replenish yourself, replenish your soul. The fire uh, spirit is here to help you, to aid you, to bring back that vitality. And she's off. All right. Let's see. How do people view Pisces currently? How do people view Pisces currently? Three cards. How do people view Pisces currently? First card out. Nine of cups reversed, really. How do people view Pisces currently? Keep in mind, energy can be reversed. Flip the rules if need be. You guys know your story. Ten of Wands. Okay. How do people view Pisces? They feel like you're burdened. You're carrying a lot of baggage, a lot of weight on your shoulders. You could be unhappy, overindulging. That's how people view you. Now, this may be true. This may not be true. The Fool card. They may feel like you are reckless or you're having some type of a new beginning. Um, you're expanding, taking that leap of faith, but you may be holding on to baggage. What is this Nine of Cups? Without in the strengths in reverse. Damn. Really though, hmm? Three cups. Leo energy coming out. Aries is here. Fire. You may have fire in your chart. Three cups. They may see you celebrating 
Um, maybe you're not holding back. Okay, the strength card can also speak to like holding back. Um, this can also speak to, you know, people viewing you as somebody who's unhappy, overindulgent, somebody who's um, lacking the strength and the courage. But with this three of cups here, ouch, no bites. With this three of cups here, it's like kind of contradicts what this is. Somebody, people may be viewing you like, um, nine of cups reversed, really? It doesn't matter how people fucking view you, Pisces. You may be viewing someone like this. Keep that in mind. Um, this is like somebody celebrating, hanging out with friends, going out, maybe overindulging, drinking a lot, okay? Um, maybe you're not holding back. You're you're being expressive, but somebody may feel like you're unhappy as well. I don't know, because this is like celebrating, having fun, celebrated. So maybe somebody feels like you're overindulging, okay? You're not holding back anymore, Show me the Ten of Wands for how people view Pisces currently. How people view Pisces. The Five of Swords. They may feel like you're trying to win at all costs, playing mind games. Hmm. How do people view Pisces currently? Like you're holding back your time, your energy, your resources. You're being stingy. You ain't giving shit to nobody. All right? You're... You're like all for yourself here. They may feel like you're burdened or weighed down. This could be like by work or by a lot of responsibilities as well. Show me the full card. Either way, if they feel like you're conserving your energy, your time, the truth, Ace of Swords, or they could feel like you're being foolish or reckless. Hmm. They may feel like you're speaking your truth. Maybe they feel like you're being reckless by speaking your truth. Well, that's too damn bad. Okay, four of swords and three of wands. They may feel like you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're resting, you're healing, you're meditating, you're speaking your truth. You're having a new beginning in life. You may have turned your back on somebody, chose to heal a situation, maybe after three of cups or three of swords. I don't see the three of swords, but the five of swords is here. So to get to the five of swords, you got to go through the three of swords, right? So somebody here may have broken your heart in the past, put you in a third party. Could have been a Leo. This could have caused a lot of great sadness in your life with this nine of cups in the reverse. But now you're like over here, 10 of wands, tens are ending. So maybe you're dropping the burden or maybe you're like still in the process. Maybe you're holding on to like a grudge or holding on to like, whatever happened okay all these sticks it's like all this action here you're still holding on to it but tens are also ending so it's like you're right maybe you're carrying it and going and dropping it off in a fucking ocean i don't know but i'm just saying or maybe you're dropping it off this fucking cliff with this full card right here um you know i just feel like maybe you're holding on to some things you know that were burdensome uh, and now it's like you're holding back your time, your energy, your resources. You're not giving to nobody. You could be saving up your money and you're doing so by all means, five of swords. That somebody may also feel like you're playing mind games because you are holding back. I feel like you are like hanging out with friends, having a good time with this three cups in the upright. Or this was some type of a third party situation. But either way, I feel like you're healing from it after three of swords maybe caused by a third party you're decided to hear heal yourself stand in your truth speak your truth turn your back on a situation and wait for your ships to come in elsewhere and you're having that new leap of faith you're having that new beginning okay i just feel like you're not giving shit to nobody here and you're doing so by all means necessary five of swords i do feel like you're hanging out with friends people you know may see what is this like rebel energy rebellion energy okay Let's see how, ooh, Seven of Swords. It's like you're being very strategic when it comes to a soulmate connection, possibly with the Capricorn or somebody who you see as toxic, okay? It's like, I feel like somebody here was lying, cheating, stealing, being deceptive. There could be some codependency or some type of issues here within a relationship. Maybe with the, I don't know. Okay, I feel like somebody here did something that put you into, a, if this is you, Pisces, I feel like, Somebody here may have caused a lot of unhappiness in your life. A lot of fucking burdens, all right? Could have been an Aries or Leo. Those are the only two major arcanas that are here. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Either way, I feel like you're healing. You're standing in your truth. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're not giving anything to anybody. Four of Pentacles. You're holding everything close to your chest. And you're doing so by all, by all means necessary, all right? I do feel like you are celebrating. You could be feeling celebrated, okay, after some type of sadness here. You could be drinking, partying. Just be careful not to, like, you know, do excess of that, okay? 
I feel like you're no longer holding back. You're you're like celebrating yourself, okay? Just again, be careful not to overindulge here. All right. Let's see. How does Pisces view the person on their mind right now? The one that they are thinking of while watching this video. Person that Pisces is thinking of right now. How does Pisces view this person? Keep in mind the energy can also be reversed. So if this first part didn't resonate with you, the second part might. Okay, because the roles could be reversed. All right. So how is Pisces, the person that is on Pisces' mind right now, while watching this video, how does Pisces view this person? Three cards. How does Pisces view this person on their mind? The sun in the reverse could be a Leo. Again, we have Leo energy, the world reverse. Somebody here could be very unhappy. This is how you view them or they view you. Either way, the sun reversed, the world reversed. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, okay? Somebody here is unable to travel. Somebody here is unhappy, depressed. The sun, the sun card is the happiest card in the deck. So in the reverse, is somebody extremely unhappy. Three of swords, they're trying to heal from some type of a heartbreak or a third party still coming out. Something here was not successful. This could be at a distance as well. Somebody may not be having any success or somebody's not wanting a cycle to close out. They want to heal something. They're extremely unhappy. All right, what is the sun in the reverse for how Pisces views this person? Death card, Scorpio and Knight of Pentacles. Somebody may have offered something stable to a Scorpio here and it's caused a lot of unhappiness. Maybe something came to an end. Or somebody here is unhappy because they want to offer some type of offer, tangible offer of stability. This person is dragging their feet. They're moving very slow. Maybe this person is going through a transformation with this death card. You know, some type of an ending in their life. And it's causing a lot of unhappiness. But they do want to offer something stable. But they're, they're moving extremely slow. All right. Show me the world in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Pentacles. And five of wands reverse. So somebody here doesn't want to fight anymore. Doesn't want to argue. Now they want to invest. They want something to turn into their favor. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. You could be dealing with a fixed sign here. Oh, nine. You view this person like they don't want a cycle to end, but something's ending. Something has came full circle. It's maybe somebody you've known for seven years, five years. It's just three swords in the reverse. Six of wands in the reverse. Something got exposed or ten of wands again and six of pentacles. Somebody here could be burdened about having to pay somebody some money. Six of Pentacles could be like charity. It could be a payout, the devil. Something here is not a success. Somebody here is burdened by Six of Pentacles, either equal give and take or, you know, they're trying to heal from some type of heartbreak here, at maybe after some, like, exposure within the community or online. Somebody doesn't want to fight for something anymore. They don't want to argue. They don't want the drama. There could have been competition here, was not successful with the competition, whoever that competition was. Maybe that's how, what you feel. That's how you see this person. Like maybe they invested into somebody here and that wasn't successful. Could have been at a distance and you're closing a cycle out, deciding to end something so something new can transform. 
I feel like something is moving very slow because there's a lot of sadness here, a lot of grief. Somebody's trying to heal from something. And there could have been some type of negative exposure and somebody's burdened by finances or burdened about an equal give and take. We do have the devil on the bottom, Capricorn energy. Four of Wands. The full card, the Emperor, Knight of Cups. And the hanged one. So it's like somebody here may have gotten some type of enlightenment and they want to apologize. This could be a father figure in Aries in particular, maybe uh, Capricorn. But somebody here, something about a home was toxic or something about a foundation or a marriage even. I see Leo energy again in Capricorn with the sun. All right. So let me clean these up real quick. This part resonated. Please hit that like button. Um, it helps me out a lot. This five of swords. I feel like this is like somebody with this fire energy. I feel like this is somebody standing in their truth. Like after something. Like somebody here is like this five of swords. I feel like this is somebody who's like determined now. You know, like I will do anything like, like. Whatever it takes, you know, somebody's going to, you know, speak their truth and go after a new beginning or somebody here is going to speak their truth and heal a situation. They're going to hold back like somebody here isn't with the shits no more. I feel like because somebody deceived somebody and somebody's being strategic now and we had the devil on the bottom of that deck, too. So it's like somebody here was has some type of obsessions or they're being very strategic, shady trying to sneak and get away with something. And I feel like you know that. So it's like you're five of swords. And it's like you will do anything by by all means necessary, you know, uh, to, to, to get out of the situation because you're fucking with the devil. You know what I mean? It's like if you're fucking with the devil, I'm being a five of swords too. All right, let me see. What would this person on Pisces mind? What would they say to Pisces, please? What would they say to Pisces? This person on Pisces' mind, what would this person say to Pisces, please? Eight cards. What would this person say to my Pisces? Not a whole stack. Single jumping cards only. What would this person say to my Pisces? Two cards, but I, you speak to me through music and the timing just wasn't right for us. Single jumping cards only. Let's do eight. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I love you. Um, I will wait for a sign from you. I wish I could take back my words. So somebody may have said some really hurtful shit to you. Or, you know, maybe somebody was lying, you know, playing mind games, spreading lies, rumors, gossip. All right, I wish I could share my good news with you. So somebody may have gotten some type of good news here. You were the best thing in my life and you don't know how hard it was to let you go. One more, please. One more, please. I regret lying to you. So this person regrets lying to you. They wish that they could take back whatever they said. They love you. They stay up at night thinking about you. They think that you're the best thing in their life. They wish that they could share their good news with you. And they said that they don't know how hard it was to let you go. All right. So let's do some more messages for Pisces. All right, let's do an outcome between you and this person on your mind. Give me a give me an outcome by the end of this month. What what will what will be the outcome between these two people? By the end of April 2022, what will the outcome be here, please? Again, with this fire energy, it's like I feel like you're stepping into your power, like um like five of swords, like, <laughs> you know, I, I just heard, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I thought it was a song, but that's why I laughed. Anyways, <laughs> somebody here may be saying that, like, I just, like, oh, I know the song I was thinking of. I don't fuck with you. <laughs> so 
somebody here that might be saying like, I don't give a fuck. I don't know. Okay. Outcome by the end of this month between these two. Three cards. Outcome. This is from the Psychic Oracle deck. Triumph and success, Ace of Swords. There will be some type of truth and clarity. Um, something, Somebody here is going to cut through the bullshit, okay? I just heard rise up from the dead. Somebody here could be like coming back around. Somebody who's been out of your life or away for a very long time. Somebody here may be... Um, or somebody may have tried to put you in this position, you know? And that's why you're in this Five of Swords, you know? Like... This rebel energy that I get. I feel like somebody here hurt you and, and you're just like. What's the word? Like. <laughs> still coming up out of the grave like I'm still here, motherfucker. Okay. Triumph and success. Outcome by the end of this month. Destiny. Something here is destined. Something here is fated. You will get some type of recognition and reward. Okay, something here is destined to happen this way. All right, so whatever this is, I do ooh, in spiritual union and foundation and achievements underneath that intuition, user intuition. I just did a reading about that as well. Um, so I feel like whatever happened here is it was fated to happen, Pisces. This could have, you know, you may have fire in your chart or this helped you. This fire spirit here is, you know, to help you like regain, like, Okay, Pisces. A lot of us are very soft, loving, kind-hearted, you know, we're very intuitive. You know, we're also a mutable sign, so a lot of times we know things that we just don't say because, you know, fear of what others will think or what others will say. I know I sure the fuck have done that. Like, I know, you know, yeah. I've predicted things for people, and at the time, I didn't even know it was a prediction, and then later on, I find out that this shit's, like, actually playing out in these people's lives, and I'm like, wow. I'm like, okay, maybe, you know, and I did tell them, but then when you, you know, when somebody, like, their response is, okay, what are you talking about? You're just kind of like, oh, nothing, never mind. You know, like, you've mentioned something, and then they're like, um, they're, you know, we can read people very well. So it's like when their energy comes back and they like give us that like unsolicited advice or something like you're giving unsolicited advice or for whatever, you know, then you're just like, okay, never mind. But then you see the shit happen. You're just like, told you so. But they're like, well, you didn't, you didn't tell me you mentioned something. And it's like, well, you know, like, damn it. You know, so I kind of feel like this is like, I feel like you're, you're, you're beating out whatever this is, beating out the competition. I feel like that kind of came up too. Um, I feel like you're like cutting through the bullshit. You're going to be recognized. Something here was fated to help you like step into your fire energy, you know, to realize how fucking powerful you are. Okay. To realize, you know, to realize how powerful you are. Give me, give me three cards, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides in regards to this situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So again, I feel like something here may have ended. We have the Grim Reaper. This relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Um, you may be telling somebody that something's over. Somebody may be telling you this. I also feel like, um, I do feel like there may be like a rekindling or I don't know. Or this, may, you may be meeting your soulmate, your destined partner here. But I feel like you had to get like. It's my song. Um, this is like one of those things like it's like you couldn't come into connection with your soul, soulmate, soul, whatever. You know, with this union, wedding, uh, married, eternal love, everlasting promise. I don't feel like. Until, like, some type of situation had to come to a complete fucking end. Excuse my language, but that's what I get. Look at him. Com like. I mean, unless you want to be in a relationship with that guy. I don't know. I feel like something here had to completely end and transform. To help somebody get on their destined path. The runner. Runner and codependent relationship. Fear, fear of intimacy and listening to ego. So somebody here who is the chaser may be the runner now. Um. 
boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So I do feel like, um, I don't know. There may have been closure issues. I do feel like you're going to receive what you need. I feel like all this was like a setup to like, there will be success here. You will receive what you need. I feel like you're the runner now. You're running from this uh, codependent relationship here. This relationship is over. All right. But I also feel like there's some type of wedding, <laughs> some type of wedding. <laughs> could be marrying to you, your finances, your job, your kids, your, your life, your friends, whatever. I feel like there's like a new commitment here. Um, but this was to help you like, whether it's with the same person or a different person, honestly, for most of you, I feel like it's a different person, but, um, I feel like you had to get like some level of like, if you look at this dude, it looks like he almost has, like, a medal around him. It's like somebody had to get some, like, level of mastery or some, like, um, upgrade. Like, you had to go through something very painful or you had to go through something to, like, to, so you can embrace your, your power, you know? Like, this was destined to happen so that you could rise up from the dead, okay? Stronger, better, you know, and, and be recognized for who the fuck you are. Because before, I don't feel like you were being recognized for who you were, Pisces. I feel like, you know, you may have been that soft, loving, nurturing, caring person. And now it's like you're a force to be reckoned with, you know? You will win by all fucking means necessary. You have carried hella sticks. You are strong as fuck. And you're about to have that brand new beginning, okay? Just be careful you're not overindulging in, in anything um, or doing too much of something, okay? All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, resonated in any way. If you liked it, let me know. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. If you guys want a personal reading, I do have time available. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.